Once you click OK in your property panel, let's just click on Publish Settings. Okay. What we're going to do is give this a name. So we're going to name it Pixel Add. And we're going to select the Publish destination. So just click on the folder there. And we're going to navigate to our Google Pixel Add folder. And we're going to create a new folder here. Okay. And we're going to call it Animate. And then inside of that folder, we're going to name the Published. Okay. Uh, for our ad, we don't want to loop the, the animation, right? So we're just going to uncheck loop timeline. Okay, so once our animation plays, we just want it to come to a stop. Okay, so everything else here should stay as it is, right? We're going to export the images to an image folder. Um, if there's sound, it'll go in there. All your JavaScript will go in a library. You can also publish other settings like a JPEG. So if you want like a fallback image, it'll just produce like the static uh, graphic for you, right? So if you just give that a name like pixel add, and you can also set like the publish destination for it. So I can maybe create a new folder inside my publish settings and just call it static for the static ad. You can also adjust the quality of it, right? So here, if you want to bring down that image to like that 150 kilobyte range, right? You could always optimize it after the fact. So what I would do is maybe put the quality all the way up for now, and we can use something like Image Optim, which we looked at uh, last week, I think it was, or the week before. Your sprite sheet, you can choose to either uh, save the images as PNGs, especially if some of them have or most of them have transparencies. JPEGs, again, are obviously smaller compression, so they are the smallest file size. Or you can choose both. And when you choose both, it doesn't create a duplicate of all of them. Animate just sees like which images have transparencies and saves those as PNGs. And the ones that don't have transparencies, it saves them as JPEGs. So then it kind of optimizes it for you. But then when it does that, it creates two separate sprite sheets one for the graphics with transparencies and one for the graphics without transparencies. Okay. The web fonts, if you're going to use uh, Adobe's type kit to embed fonts, it's going to ask you for like a domain URL to where this is going to be hosted.